Hi everyone, here is Olya and my blog about Ukraine. Today we speak about Ukrainian religion and religion in Ukraine. Religion is a very beautiful thing, but sometimes it has such a big influence in people's life in the country. So what's religion in Ukraine and how much you feel its impact in our life, I will tell you in this movie. Officially, Ukraine is Christian Orthodox country. What means officially? It means that we celebrate uh, Christmas and we celebrate uh, Easter and have days off in these days in our state. Uh, but generally, I want to say that in practice, Ukraine is a multi-religious country. Uh, we have not only Christians here, we have also Muslims here and different other religions that is allowed in Ukraine and have big activity in Ukraine. And if you just want to know what is the religion in Ukraine, I already tell you. And now I'm going to tell you more about every branch of religion in Ukraine. And I begin from Christian Orthodox, of course. The history of Christianity in Ukraine begins in 988 year uh, when Knight of Kiev Rus, it was like king of ancient Ukrainian state. Uh, it decided to baptize our state because it must it must be it was in uh, this time. And he decided to baptize and he chose from different religion. And uh, the center of Orthodox was in Vizanti and the center of uh, Catholicism was in uh, Rome. And he decided to according to his policy that uh, it will be better to him for him to have a a closer relationship with Byzantia than with Rome and that's why Ukraine become Orthodox country. Uh, since that time we have a lot of beautiful churches in Ukraine, they still be now in Ukraine too and you can attend it. Uh, this church was built in the beginning of 11th century, in 12th century and uh, then it's very beautiful, awesome churches and of course when you come to Kiev you can visit them or you can at least with my blog post and see more more information because in my video I will tell you just the most interesting fact and my blog post I read more about every all this stuff. Uh, now we have 69% uh, of Orthodox in Ukraine, but I want to say that it's more um, nominative percent because Ukraine for 70 years was in USSR and in the official religion in USSR is atheism. And for example, my grandma, my parents, my and their generation, they grew up in atheistic country and they don't have uh, grow, they don't have strong beliefness in God. Of course, they are believe in God, but they don't attend a church every Sunday. They don't keep all the rules that must keep Orthodox. And uh, I want, uh, I think that they are agnostics. So most people of this Orthodox they become agnostics because they believe in God, but they are not a really Orthodox person. But they are baptized as Orthodox. They baptize as Orthodox when Ukraine become independent. And that's why we have a big percent of these branches in religion, but really it's not true. It's not real reality percent. Also, I want to say that we have two different, we have four different branches of Orthodox, but two of the biggest is um, uh, Ukrainian Orthodox Church and Russian Orthodox Church in Ukraine. Uh, they have different rules, they have different some things, and I will tell you about this in different movie. But it's uh, two different branches of Orthodox uh, churches in Ukraine. I think that's all what I want to tell you about Orthodox and now we speak about Catholics. We have 16% of Catholics in Ukraine. Um, the most uh, Catholics appears in Ukraine, I think, when Ukraine uh, was under power of Poland. West Ukraine was under power of Catholic Poland. And that's why we have a lot of Catholics here in West Ukraine. You can find a Catholic cathedral here. It was built in 15th, 16th centuries. It's very beautiful. And also what I want to say you that we have two branches of Catholics here in Ukraine. It's Greek Catholics and Rim Catholics. So Greek Catholics, they and celebrate all the holiday like Orthodox. They have Christmas in 6th January and they have Easter like Orthodox. And Rim Catholics, that's like really Catholics who is who lives in Europe. That's like all Europe Catholics here. Um, the next one religion is 
Protestants. We have more than 2% of Protestants and it surprised me so much because I think we have more percent of Protestants because I see their activity always and I see a lot of their charges here in Ukraine. Maybe most of them are concentrating in West Ukraine where I live and where I travel. Here is a lot of branches but I will tell you about the biggest one. So the biggest is uh, Baptist. They appear in 1852 uh, year in Ukraine and since that time they become very popular. We have a lot of churches, we have a lot of activity of Baptists and you can find it, you can find their church at least in every big cities in Ukraine. The next one is Pentecostals. We have 5.6% of all Christians, that's Pentecostals. And they appeared in 1920 year in Ukraine and now we have more than 200 churches in Ukraine what is Pentecostal. Seventh-day Adventists appeared in Ukraine at the end of 18, 19th century and now also you can find a lot of their activity and a lot of churches in Ukraine. Jehovah Witnesses. We have 150,000 of Jehovah Witnesses in Ukraine. We have a lot of their churches and the first church appears in Ukraine in 1926 year in West Ukraine. Mormons. We don't have a lot of Mormons in Ukraine. This is very new religion for Ukraine. It appears only 25 years ago and we have maybe a little more than 11,000 of Mormons here in Ukraine. But we have a beautiful Mormon temple in Ukraine which is one to the all East Europe. And people come from all East Europe here to Ukraine, to Kiev to see, to visit the Mormon temple. And I think it will be interesting. This uh, building is the third uh, biggest in the world of Mormons. Mormon temple and also it have a state our state award from the best um, religious building in in 2010 year and um, I think in some Mormons see my video it will be very interesting to know for you that we have also Mormon temple here in Ukraine Judaism. We don't have a lot of Judaism here in Ukraine, it's only 0.2% but we have a lot of awesome synagogues in Ukraine and the best one I think it's in Dnipropetrovsk called Golden Rosa. It's very very cool synagogues. I think everyone must see these beautiful pictures and um, we have a lot of people who believe to this religion in government and I think that's why this religion developed very very well in Ukraine. And the last one, big branches of religion in Ukraine, of course, it's Muslims. As Ukraine was located in the border of a Christian and Muslim world, of course we have Muslims in Ukraine. We have 3 million of Muslims in Ukraine. Half of them lives in Crimea and it's Crimea Tatars, but other Muslims, I think, live in all other Ukraine. We have a lot of mosques in Ukraine. It's a very beautiful building, it's a very awesome building. I think you need to see this because this very really kind of architecture monument here in Ukraine and uh, I think that in 2011 years um, we have new uh, mosque, new Islamic complex in Ukraine in Kiev. It calls Ali Rahma. It's one of the biggest in Europe. Here is a mosque, here is a minaret and here is some building uh, where you can find, uh, you can have a lesson. Sorry, I don't know how it calls and it's very very beautiful building and also we have mosque in the net we have in Lviv and maybe in different other cities in Ukraine in different big cities in Ukraine that's not all religion that we have in Ukraine that's not all branches we have a lot of a lot of branches in Ukraine we have Hare Krishnas we have Buddhists we have either because Ukraine have free develop gives free development to any religions what you can want to develop in Ukraine and I want to ensure you if you come to Ukraine you can find a place you can find a community where you can be with your God and nobody hurted you because of your religion and because of this I invite you to visit Ukraine and also press the button like if you like this video I will be very happy and subscribe to my channel and I try to make more interesting movie for you. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!